I can't recommend enough customers get a good quality charger because you use this for all of your airplanes. Hello and welcome to MotionRC.com. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today's quick tip is all about the Toolkit RC uh, M8 AC charger. We're gonna be showing you how to actually balance charge a battery on this charger. And if you're interested in more of the features of this charger, we're gonna have more videos coming out as we go all about using it. So let's get down on the table and show you what it takes to actually balance charge a battery. So the first thing we need to do is click in the scroll wheel to bring up our menu. Then we can scroll up to the mode section, click the scroll wheel in to click on it. We're gonna pick charge. The next thing we wanna check is what type of battery do we have? At the top, it says we are on LiPo. That is correct for what we're charging. Cells, for now, we're gonna leave that on automatic. That means when we plug it in, it should know how many cells are in the pack. End voltage, we want that at 4.20 volts a cell for most standard LiPos, unless you're going high voltage. Charge current will depend on what type of battery you're doing, but it's pretty simple. What you wanna always look at is the milliamps of the battery. So if we have a 5,100 milliamp battery, you charge at 5.1 amps. If you have an 1,100 milliamp battery, you charge it at 1.1 amps. You always just move your decimal over three points to get to your actual reading you need. So for this video, let's go on and say we're gonna charge our Skynetic 2200 milliamp 35C LiPo. We can put that at 2.2 amps. Now we're ready to actually plug the battery in. On the front of the charger, there's a whole line of connections. You're gonna start with the black wire pointed towards the left side, then plug that in. Then we're gonna take the actual battery lead. In our case, it is an XT60, so we can plug it right into the front and do that. If your battery uses a different end, we do sell a lot of different adapters here at MotionRC.com to change from XT60 to say EC5 or whatever you need. Uh, we have all those adapters here. But in the case of this battery, we could just plug it right into the front because it's an XT60 battery. To actually start the charge, we're gonna go down to the bottom of the screen where it says start using the scroll wheel and push start. Make sure that that's the voltage we want, which another way to find out, once again, this is a 3S battery. So 4.20 times three should bring us to 12.6 volts. So now that that's all good, we're gonna hit okay and the charger will begin to charge. This time, on the front of the screen, we can use the scroll wheel to go to the right, and that's gonna show us each individual cell as it's charging and going up. And this should balance the batteries as it's charging. So at this point, the battery's charging. We need to wait about 30 minutes at a 1C charge like we're doing currently for this battery to be done. Now you can exponentially speed this up by just increasing your C. So this is a 2200 milliamp LiPo battery. We're charging at 1C, which means it's 2.2 amps. But if we wanted to go to 2C, we could actually charge this at like 4.4 amps. I really don't recommend anything more than a 2C charge, and you don't wanna do that every single charge because it isn't as good for your batteries to do that. If you're not in a hurry for time, just stick to a 1C charge rate and keep it there. But if you're out at the field and you wanna get another flight in and kind of hurry up a little bit, that's when you can do a 2C charge. So the last thing I wanna talk about is battery safety here, guys. Now, I know these are our toys and we're having fun, but whenever you're charging a LiPo battery, be careful, these can catch fire. So I highly recommend a LiPo sack. It goes around the battery as you're charging it and taking it out to the field. And this will contain any kind of fire that happens and only let smoke out, we have several different options here at Motion RC. And the other thing I like to do is get some kind of a non-flammable surface, whether it's an old baking sheet, uh, a stoneware pad is a great thing. If you can steal one from your wife, you put that under your charger while you're charging, and it will make sure if there was a fire, it's on a surface that won't catch on fire. So we don't wanna ever see anybody do that, but we also know that accidents happen 
that's why a good quality charger is a great thing to get. This has overload protection. It's for the most part gonna keep you from plugging the battery in wrong and being able to charge on a wrong setting to cause any kind of issues. And that's where these nice premium chargers really start to show. I can't recommend enough customers get a good quality charger because you use this for all of your airplanes. Same thing with the radio. We never want to skimp out on good quality equipment in this hobby. Well guys, I've been Wes from MotionRC.com and until the next video, whether it's air, land or sea, you can get it right here at MotionRC. We'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.